First, they retreated to this house in Los Angeles, private grief. Now Michael Jackson's family have broken their silence. In a statement, the star's father, Joe Jackson, said, in one of the darkest moments of our lives, we find it hard to find the words appropriate to this sudden tragedy. It leaves us speechless and devastated. We miss Michael endlessly. But they also want more information and ordered a second post-mortem. Friends say family members are confused and angry. The wound is open because it's not clear as to the cause of death. And the bizarre behavior of the doctor contributes to that. We don't quite know Michael was training three hours a day uh, and dancing. Uh, a couple of young people said at 25 he was out dancing them. He just passed a physical test. And from that to massive cardiac arrest, at least created some concern. This man was there at the end, Jackson's personal doctor, Conrad Murray. He tried to revive the star at home before emergency services were called. Police took his car to check if prescription painkillers were inside, but the doctor's lawyer says he has nothing to hide. The LAPD Homicide Division has assured us that uh, Dr. Murray is not a suspect of any kind in Mr. Jackson's death. He is just a witness that the police want to talk to to get some facts out. Thank you. Let's keep walking, folks. Let's keep walking. And as the questions pile up, so do the tributes, an unprecedented reaction for a unique individual. Michael Jackson's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is hidden under there somewhere. This has become a makeshift shrine. And now, almost three days since he died, people are queuing up in their hundreds to pay their respects. Some want a keepsake. T-shirt makers have rushed to fill a gap in the market. And Michael Jackson's music is more popular than ever. He makes up nearly the entire top ten in digital download charts in North America, Europe and Australia. Meanwhile, the music industry is preparing its own tribute. A showbiz awards ceremony tonight has been restyled. Now Beyonce and Jamie Foxx will lead a host of stars in remembering the king of pop. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News, Los Angeles.